Krista, welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing to you my kits for the month of March for Mini Kit Monday. I am a guest designer this month, which I am super, super excited. And um, Shannon Allure, who is um, in that group, posted a like kind of like a, a little guide to kind of help us. Um, get started on what we like to use and this is what it looks like and I'm going to try and post it in the corner so you guys could see too um, but what we had to pick and she gave us like a dollar amount for each thing and it's like $25 spend for your scrappy pot of gold so and then um, anything that's gold is free of course so you don't count that and she put like a dollar sign for each one of these um, items. So first we had to start with pattern, pattern paper. And I put everything in my nifty little box, which I love from Ikea. So um, the paper that I am choosing, and I decided to go with um, pictures that are gonna go along with this. So, um, I'm using the Again and Again collection. Most of it is the collection. And I have the two paper pads. I have this too. But I'm not going to be using all the paper, of course, because it's four layouts for the month. And I am going to have this picture. And I'm going to be using these gorgeous papers. with one of my pictures. So I kind of put like a mini kit within a kit for each one of these, because I figured this was gonna be the easiest way for me to get this done. So I picked a picture and then I grabbed papers from the paper pad that I thought would go really great together. And then I just paper clipped them together. So this is how I did it. And I find that this is much easier for me. So when I'm going back in my kit, I can have everything right there that I'm going to use. Because otherwise, I would spend most of my time like digging through stuff and I don't like to do that. So that's the whole point of Mini Kit Monday is like getting a kit together that you could use for the month. And you know, a photo maybe that can go with it too. And um, and then putting your little kit together. This way you have everything right in front of you. So I did pull these ones too because I can use these um, as embellishments. I could fussy cut them, which I probably will because I like to fussy cut. And then they have this cut apart um, as well. So I'm put that in there with my papers that I'm going to use with my photos. And then I did put a cardstock sheet in and this is just white cardstock. And I put that in just in case um, I want to use a white background. And the next thing she had is cardstock stickers. So I have um, those. I have these right here. And this again goes with the collection. I already used one. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm going to put that with it. And then puffy stickers, which I have a bunch of those. So I have these three packs of puffy stickers that go with this collection. So this one goes with it and it has two sides. So I have all these words, all these different things I could play with. And also these words I can use and these ones. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also, um, alphas or thickers. So, oh, and I forgot, this one's gold, so this does not count. So I added that one in. And also, this is gold, and these are stickers. And there is a black in here and a gray, but I'm probably going to use the gold. So I added that in as well because um, I might want to use those words. And then I use these as my thickers for my alphas, and this is part of this collection. It goes with it. So there's my alphas. 
And then we had to use flat alphas, which I didn't have flat alphas, so I didn't include the flat alphas. I substituted other things for that. Um, wood veneer, I did add in wood veneers. Okay, so this again and again collection comes with this. So I have sequins, which is on there. Clips, I have those and they're gold. So I added those in and then I had these little wood veneers. So this whole pack goes with this. And then I also added these gold bows because that goes and that was free. And then she said enamel dots, nouveau drops. So I added these little enamel dots that go with this collection. And also nouveau. These are the two colors I picked for my nouveau drops. And also she wanted card stock. Um, so instead of my die cut, die cuts um i guess you could count these because they're ephemera so um these are my die cuts and ephemera that i'm going to use with this collection so it's kind of cool because i had all this stuff ready to go and then she has flare on here washi um rub-ons i i don't have rub-ons um the bows i have the gold bows so that's kind of like a free um I did have a couple flares and other gold bowls that I had. They're like a rose gold, so I don't know if that would count, but these are gold flares. I'm gonna count them as gold because they have gold on them. So they're little hearts and they're super cute. And then I had these little clips that have like kind of the rose gold on them. So I included those because they kind of went with the collection too. So those are my clips as well. And she also said stamps, um, ink or stamps, ink slash stamps, ink, I'm sorry, stamps slash ink. And um, I have a ton of stamps. I don't know what I'll use, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, I'll probably add in butterflies maybe and stuff like that but these are the three distress oxides that I'm going to use one is vintage photo chip sapphire and aged mahogany those are the colors that go really well with this and then she also wanted us to include texture piece so I chose Vicki Booten's um, gold um, glaze it's a rose gold so I thought this went really well with this collection as well and because we put in texture paste, I decided that the other stuff that I didn't include was, was my washi, and I didn't include any um, rub-ons. I decided to throw in some um, stencils to go with my paste. So I threw in these stencils. This one's by Artsy. This one is uh, Tim Holtz. And this one is a Prima, and it's a doily. And they're really pretty so I decided to add those in so that's my kit for mini kit Monday I hope you guys like it I had so much fun following along with this this was like such a great idea and it made it easier for us to kind of get inspiration to get our kits together so I hope you guys like it and don't forget to come back on Mondays all this month to check out my layouts that I will be posting and I'll have process videos for all of them and also I will have everybody's link down below um, who um, group this is they are they do this all the time I will have their links down below because it's their club they allowed me to be a guest designer which is awesome and um, so is Ronnie Sue Scrapper is also guest designing this month too so I will have her link down below as well and we can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. I hope you guys follow along. I hope you guys get your kit together. And I'm going to try to remember to put this in the corner so you guys see it. So hopefully it's there when you see the video. And that's it. So I will see you guys again soon. And I can't wait to get started. And have a great night. Oh, I'm, I'm have a good day. I'm doing this at night, but you'll see it the next day. And, um... 
yeah, so that's it. So, um, see you again soon. Um, and remember, stay crafty.